I think I like George a bit better. Games on, soups on, meals on the way. Need a drink? Good luck out there, sous chef. <clears throat> well, how did it go? Hi, dude, I finally reached 7k with your method. Yelling into the monitor and cursing chat. Thank you for the coaching. Keep it up, mate. You should have stopped at uh, 6969 rather than 7k. It's a better looking number. You said something about a competition in your Discord. Yes. More details in the, in the following days. I think I'll announce it on a Monday. It's gonna be mostly just like posting your I best battlegrounds boards. And you can win rewards by doing that. So it wouldn't require that much effort. It's not gonna be like a tournament where you play with others. Yet. Maybe at some point. One battle done. Now get on your apron and cook up a strategy. I like Mercules. That's it. Keep going. You're doing great. Oh, you're back. Find any of these out there. Okay. Morlocks or dragons. But I really don't like the cookbook. I think I like the Gilnian Warhorn in this lobby and it comes with Felimental ready. Super good pig. Now the question is, what's the best way to summon 14? It's just a little sand in your eyes. You can open the Tad and then Lantern the Mercules. Is it not worth uh, holding the Sand Spear for longer and buffing it? Not really. Threaten Wintervale. Come on, it was so close to being a tie. How pla how playable are demons? Demons are good, but you need to play the buff shop uh, strategy. The other one doesn't really work. Which is kind of unfortunate. So this is gonna summon two in combat, and then two more, and then two more. I'm trying to calculate in how many turns I'm gonna do it. Let's be strong. You've got some catching up to do. Hang in there. I don't know why they removed percussionist. It's not like Rough Weaver was dominating. True. And now, demons are still playable, but they only have like one playable way, and it's kind of like, boring. Because it's very often repeating. Great minds think alike, but that doesn't explain why we do. I see what you did there. Good one. Another fella. I have an idea. And then I want to evolve Tempest into a six and then play Felimentals and go crazy. Or maybe we don't even want to evolve the Tempest. We can evolve something in the shop if we feel like uh, we want to buff it. And then we look for Rylak and then we try to play it for a win. I kind of like this. Good luck out there, Sushef. 
Nice. I was hoping the shield lands on the dragon. So at least I can get some good Mercury's value. And next time I'll be able to show you why this quest is so broken. Taking a Thai Hig is phenomenal. Buffing the Filamental is phenomenal. This is going exactly how I planned it. Quite the favor profile we were hoping for, was it? Time for a kitchen upgrade. Bat? Oh my god, we got the bat. Put that back on the shelf for you. Come on down. Actually, I should have played the Brand's Blessing too. Yeah, yeah, I should have played it. Ah, I missed one buff. It's not the end of the world. I missed one buff, okay? I wanna Divine Shield my demons and then get Rylak. The best part about this is that we don't have to level right now. We can just sit. Oh, I also lost one spell because of the Panda. Yeah, yeah, Bran's Blessing was a buy. I fucked up. Okay. The Akari is pretty solid. What a the voodoo I do. Four unfortunate souls. I don't even need the rewinder. I just bought it for one turn. Because it comes with excavation, so it only costs me one gold. Yeah, it's a lot of stats here. Good luck out there, Susha. I'm freezing for the Dreamer's Embrace. Why not level? Because I don't need anything from Taverns 5 and 6. Give me one reason to level. What minion do you need? I just need Rylak and one more Filamental. Murkai. Hmm. Bran. I mean, we have to Divine Shield every turn. I, don't know what your secret ingredient is, but it's working. I guess you'd also get a bigger Tavern. Yeah, maybe it was worth leveling. 
Ah, uh, this guy has golden Rylag. Oh my god, he also has double Velastres. It's over, right? Oh my god. It's so over. Fucking dirty high roller. Unwashed high roller. It is so over. There's no reason to roll on 5. You might want to level and roll on 6. I want Divine Shield on the Rewinder, but I don't want to get too weak doing that. You have so many turns to buy Scam. Tess is an easy win. Scam? So I want Bramble Witch and Queen, right? I'm gonna go to 6 for it. Yeah, we play 3 Demons and then go Scam. The question is, does Cultist count as a scam card, or is it too weak to be a scam card? I think I'm bigger than this guy. He's got one bigger minion, but the board is smaller. Matador would have been good, but we eat it. That's okay. Yeah, maybe I should have leveled faster since I was so strong. I was still under the impression that if I get Rylac, there's like so much scaling that nobody can beat me. But then after seeing Tess's board, I'm like, okay. Okay, dude. <laughs> We're not winning this one. Who's the best hero and who's the most fun hero to play? Best hero is probably still Shudderwalk in a demon lobby. Most fun to play hero for me is Reno. Reno is very, very fun. Golden Matador could have been good enough against Tess. It also depends on Tess's build, right? I think you want a mix of like Matador and Queen and um, Bramble Witch. I'm building towards that, okay? And I'll keep three demons. If I need to, I'll cut one of the demons and I'll just play two demons. How is Reno a fun hero? You can only use his hero power once. In my opinion, he's fun because he gives you like different play styles that otherwise you wouldn't get. And then he can change his hero power later in the game. Due to the mask spell. Or more like utilizing the mask spell. One, huh? nice work. Nice. Big win. People who don't think Reno is fun haven't played utilizing Golden Brand. Indeed. A classic. We can already make Fort work. And we have Fort Rakari. Yeah, Markai too. Fort is a lot of stats, but is it enough stats? Fort is bait. Okay, let's get Markai then, and that's it. <clears throat> we don't need to divine the Markai. Why not Bran Blessing? I'm just looking for scam cards, guys. Bran's Blessing is not a scam card.
Basically, I think I have enough stats already to beat anybody in the lobby other than Tess. And against Tess, the Bran's Blessing is not gonna help. What we need here is Queen Bramble Witch. Matador. To pull a scam. That's my explanation, chat. We'll see if I'm right. Well, now I fight Tess, which is kind of fucked. She's gonna be so big, she's probably gonna like kill me from 30. How do I avoid dying from 30? I don't think we can buy Elemental of Surprise without having the Bramble. I want to Divine Shield myself. True. <laughs> Fucking twist shot. Does this mean you're not in? I didn't want to taunt one of my demons because of Bramble Witch. Do you think it's impossible for Tess to play Bramble Witch? She has only four dragons. She must be playing something else outside of that. If we can kill her Bran, we already shouldn't take 30, right? You aren't smoking, barely drink, and you'll still die at 30. <laughs> From 30. But yeah, good one. Very funny. Let him keep going. I'm doing great. Divine Shield on the Cultist could have helped. True. Divine Shielding the Cultist might actually help more. Wait, I was looking at the guy's board. Um, we actually have a chance. Hmm. If I found Rylak, I think I would have been bigger. No cap, for real. For real, for real, chat. How is Tess so small? Probably made some mistakes somewhere. There you go. Beat them down like Moti. Again, you don't want to play into the opponent's Bramble Witch. This guy literally had the Bramble Witch last time we fought. So if anything, you take this and you, you do it on Murkai. Or that. Hmm. I think it's just Dreamers. Felborg is not good. You don't want a fourth demon. All you want here is camp cards. You want stats on those three minions, buffing the shop as much as you can, and scam cards. It's that easy, Chad. You don't want to do anything too fancy, okay? He didn't see the Rylak. I saw it, I don't need it anymore. Where would you play Rylak? I guess you could cut the Fairies, but... Yeah, after winning against this, I mean, we were kind of unfavored, but... I still think Scam is better than Extra Scaling. We got Extra Scaling with the Battlecry Trigger. If we get some Bramble Witches, that's perfect. We don't need much more than that. Ah. He still win, my demon. At least we had Divine Shield on it. I figured your palette was more refined. Here's your gold.
Another fellow for one turn. Chefs need line cooks, warlords need minions. Ah. Uh, it will steal some stats, yeah. Yeah, it stole some stats. Aren't we gaining stats long term though? We can find the spell that eats it. Okay. We need Bramble Witch. Hmm. Yeah, it's too late for Rylak. We can get stuff and cut Gakagi. I like Matador. And I like the Bramble. And I also like the Dreamers. So I think you cut Fele. Okay. I'm hogging all the power. The Drakari out. I am one what you want. And now you can freeze for cool another cool taste. Because we're not gonna eat all of it. Actually, maybe Drakari is better than the Murkai. Hmm. Yeah, Drakari was better than the Murkai, right? Murkai is the anti Bramble tech. Hmm. Murkai is also greedy as fuck. <laughs> Would you buy pants for Matador? No, he's better off without pants. Number one, huh? Nice work. So his biggest minion is the Kalagos. I don't have soy because maybe I get triggered about to cry. Put that back on the shelf for you. Pivot! Very funny. We're probably gonna lose to the Warp Wing. Benali, thank you for the two years. You're in first place. You savor it.
Okay. Okay. Chefs need light cooks, warlords need minions. Go on, buy a minion. Let's see. Which one's right for you? I am one with the stars. We can cut Queen for cultist. If we think it's gonna matter. Hard to find something stronger than that. Does this mean you're not in? <sighs> I couldn't eat the shop. And Divine Shield the Queen, because then I, if I could do that, I could maybe cut the Divine there. Number one, huh? Nice work. If the Quiltis doesn't bring me any value, then it's going to be very sucky. Fuck. Bro, fuck off. Seriously, would you fuck off? Oh, disaster. I beat him twice and then like another time earlier and it didn't matter oh it's not over it's not over remember revenge is a dish best served cold Maybe it's better to play Belcher over playing the Rewinder. Kulti's first is to YOLO. Ooh, that one's a bit spicy. <laughs> We won! No luck involved! I was baby raging, but I survived on one health, and it was enough to take the win. GG. The Murloc was good. The Murloc was clutch. A lot dread and another minion. I glanced at Twitch chat and somebody said don't buy it. That's the moment when I knew I should buy it. 500, 500 was too small. Good call, RDU. I got you.